Okay, now that we've gone through making one object, let's go ahead and start the second one. I want everybody to try making the second object on the problem sheet. We're going to slide down here and just take a quick look at it. That second object looks like this. So to get started with that, what I'm going to do is in Inventor, I'm going to go up here to File, New, and create a new part file. Again, make sure it's English, Standard IN, IPT, hit Create, and now we're back into the modeling process. Okay, so we're going to look at this part and see what closed loop do we want to create to extrude this back. All right, so to make this object, again, we're going to look at that first extrusion. We'll go ahead and extrude this, what would be the front view for us. I'll make this as a closed loop and then extrude this back the three inches. Okay, so let's jump back into Inventor. First thing I need to do is get a sketch, pull down my 2D sketch, start 2D sketch, pull one of the planes, grab a plane, great. Now I'm drawing. I grab my line tool, start here off the center, coming over, that's going to be five inches. We're going to then go ahead and come up one. Then we're going to come back in one, then go up one. Then we're going to come all the way across here. I believe that this is going to be four, and then come straight down two until it locks up with that uh, green point, and then click. Now, I'm going to go ahead and hit finish sketch grab my extrude tool and I'm going to pull this thing out that three inches and then say wowie look at this my second part is uh oh that's not right all right so immediately I recognize a whoopsie this is four inches this is one it really should be two inches here and then of course three at the top so uh do we start over absolutely not so over here in my browser as we built this part you can see there's my first extrusion. That's extrusion one. I'm going to hit that little plus symbol next to it. And underneath of it is what's called the sketch that has been consumed by extrusion one. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to edit the sketch. So I'm going to select sketch one. And you can see it highlight over here in my model space. I'm going to right click on it. And then I'm going to click edit sketch. Back in the sketch mode I go. And all of these dimensions are on my drawing, okay? I'm going to go ahead and just delete this 4-inch dimension by selecting it and hitting delete. Because that dimension was there, all right, that was going to hold this line fixed to that 4-inch position. And what I really want to do is I want to make this line longer. So I double-click on the dimension. That dimension pops up. I'm going to type in 2 and hit enter. And what that just did is it just shoved this line over, but it kept the relationships between these, okay? If I were to show you the relationships by right-clicking and going to Show All Constraints, you can see these little symbols popping up. These little symbols, if I sit over top of one of these symbols, says perpendicular, and then when it sits there, it highlights the two lines that are perpendicular to each other. This is perpendicular to these two and so forth and so on. So you can see the relationships between the lines. That allows me to shove this line over by two inches, and it stays in the current relationship with the other lines. Well, this is great, because then I can hit Finish Sketch. Now I'm back up. Oh, there it is. Back in model space, it will update the model for me. So now my model is correct. So if you make a whoopsie, okay? Whoopsie doopsies are no big deal. You get back into the sketch, edit that sketch, you can get into here and just change the dimension. It will update. Now, the other important thing you need to recognize is constraints are also dimensions. If I would have left this 4-inch dimension here, it was not going to be happy. Because if I do this and I try to type this in, 2 inches, Oh, it gets a funky funk because there are no constraints on this edge of the model. So it kept that four inches because I told it four inches. The only thing I did not give it information on was this line. So that's the only thing that could change. All right. Also, there is no constraint relationship between this, so it can change. Okay. So if something like this happens, there's an awesome button up here. It's called the undo button or the back button, hit that button. It takes things back to normal again to where you were happy. So I'll just go ahead and again, delete that four, double click on the one, make it two, finish the sketch, and presto change -o. PS, number two is finished. I will save this, go file, save as, 
Make sure I stick it back in that same folder. Inventor, first problem sheet, naming convention, PS2, whoops, 2, and hit save. 